let me begin by explaining the core philosophical differences, or some people would call it the ideological differences between the Republicans and the Democrats. The Democrats use the word fairness. Uh, President Obama has used that quite frequently in the campaign, and that refers to making sure that all Americans have an opportunity to live the American dream. Fairness means access to resources. It particularly appeals to lower income people or people that are in one way or another disadvantaged so that they have a fair shake. On the Republican side, the philosophy is a little bit different. There's an emphasis on individual rights. There is an emphasis on the government is not the most effective way of delivering services to the public. A business can actually be more effective at doing that. Business can be more efficient. And so the Republicans really, that translates into less in the way of spending and reduced taxes, don't have the government be spending. And for the Democrats, it means, well, you can't rely totally on business to provide those services because they might not do so, so you need to have government involved. Well, early on in the campaign, there was this discussion about capitalism. Every campaign tends to have a fundamental theme, and in the 2008 campaign, as you might recall, it was race relations for pretty obvious reasons. This campaign it was is capitalism, but it's now more specifically directed towards programs rather than a theoretical discussion around capitalism. But the Democrats' view of capitalism is it's important, but by itself it doesn't always do the right thing, so you need to have government in there lending a helping hand, whereas the Republicans believe that the government gets in the way, and what you really need to do is reduce spending, reduce revenues to the government, let the private sector take care of the needs of the populace. To be more specific, the campaign is focused currently on very specific programs. Probably the most talked about and most controversial is Medicare. The Democrats are concerned that if the Republican vision of spending cuts could decimate Medicare and that could harm uh, people that have need for health care services. Whereas the Republicans are pointing out that the program, the Medicare program, is not funded in a way that will maintain its solvency into the future. And furthermore, they believe that if it's restructured in ways that provides more of a private sector management of the program, that the services could be delivered at much lower cost. That would be one example. In terms of tax policy, we all know that Obama, President Obama, would like to raise taxes, particularly on the rich, raise revenues because that would help fund sustaining various programs that provide fairness to the population overall. Whereas the Republicans have just drawn a line in the sand, said no tax increases, all the tax cuts that have been in place for several years to extend them on a permanent basis. That also fits with the overall ideological divide between the two parties. Maintain social programs on the part of the Democrats, downsize the size of government on the part of Republicans.